Okay, so I'm always going on about how much I love the suet feeders. And I wanted to do this video today to follow up because I saw uh, it in action. So in front of the house, there's this maple tree. And there's a suet feeder there. And there's a suet feeder there inside this Mugo pine. See, it's quite a large one. It's like 15 by eight by something. Anyway, the nice thing about it that I like is it's pretty open area. We've got some taller trees. There's some crows heading over. But I have a little cover going along here from the green belt over there across the street. And this is across the driveway. So I've got lots of good cover for the little birds because they can zip in here and fly into this Mugo pine and then they wait their turn for the feeder. Wow, look at all the crows heading over. So today I was sitting up in my office looking down and I saw a hawk fly around the uh, Mugo Pine, and he landed right here on this solar light, and he was looking for all the little birds, and he uh, did then did fly around it and try to get some of the little native songbirds that are at the uh, suet feeders. And I think he's been pretty successful pinging them off of that one because he can still fly through. The, there's enough open, open area. Um, but that one, you know, all the little birds can hop into this bush. So it's pretty exciting uh, to see that I've set these up in a pretty good spot. And as some people have said, so yeah, he flew around, came around there, and he flew right by, right around. I'd seen, him, I'd seen the hawk come through a few times, and I thought, uh, it, they're so quick, I thought maybe it was the flickers, because I get some flickers visiting. And like this one, I like because it's just the solid frame, and lots of bird pecking on that. Doesn't look like it's being used as a squirrel or rat fudge sickle. Um, and this one, see when the, when the birds land on it, there's no, the surface area for their poo and stuff to get stuck on it is small in case, you know, this year we've had a problem with concern throughout the country with like a salmonella outbreak earlier this summer. But I think this is a better design because there's not a lot of flat surfaces. I mean, obviously there is on top of each thing, but it's less... There's less crap building up on the wire one. Same with this one. This one has a little roof. Um, but, and so it looks pretty good as well. Doesn't look like there's any, doesn't look as obvious if there's a well, this one concerns me, but that could be a bird. But anyway, I like these because it's the same situation. There's not a lot of surface area for their poop to get stuck on and then to transfer uh, any diseases. Now this feeder, I thought I would like. It had a little roof and the suet cakes just stand right in there. But what does this have that makes it less desirable than the two I just showed? It has this big wooden bottom with a lip. So look at all this stuff that can get caught and they're like, look at this one. So actually this one has been empty for months now because once I saw it starting to um, collect poo and stuff, this is not a good design because there's way, there's a whole lip there for just to eventually you have to keep out. You want to come out and clean it weekly or something. And I just think it's, it's too bad because it, it's just fun, easy design to make on your own, in fact. But um, you can still do it. Just don't put this bottom 
board on here. Maybe I'll tell I'll fix this one. I'll tear this bottom off and then just put some wire under those bottoms so that they're hanging there. That's what I'll do to adjust that. So to summarize, yes, I can't see the bird feeders quite as well, but I can still see them flitting around the bushes. But uh, I like that I know they have good cover from the small hawks in the area. We have the full range of hawks in this area and uh, from eagles and osprey all the way down to little short hawks um, but it's the smaller hawks that eat the tiny birds so just having the brush close enough for them to be able to hop off the feeder into the brush uh, sets them up for better success and not becoming a hawk snack I think that's the little towie that lives in the salal at the end of the driveway. He's here year round. <laughs> 